Hi all, Tony Sycamore here, market analyst for IG here in Australia. Last month, the release of a softer than expected monthly CPI indicator set the scene for the RBA to pause its aggressive rate hiking cycle. However, inflation still remains well above the RBA's target band of 2 to 3%. And as we know from the board meeting minutes from April, the RBA retains a tightening bias, which puts in focus this Wednesday's inflation data. Now, what we're looking for there is for headline inflation to rise by 1.3% in the quarter for an annual rate of 6.9%. The trimmed mean or the core measure is expected to rise by 1.4%, which would put the annual rate at 6.7%. Now, presuming that the core measure comes in at or below expectations, it will likely keep the RBA on hold for at least another month. However, if we were to see an upside surprise there, then you would probably expect to see the RBA start to lift interest rates again as early as next month. Now for the Aussie dollar, that would be a broadly supportive measure. Higher interest rates are supportive for a currency. But when you look at the Aussie dollar on the chart, it's been trading sideways for the better part of two months between 68 cents on the top side and 66 cents on the bottom. And I think that range probably holds regardless of whether the RBA lifts rates or it doesn't. I would be looking though, in terms of where the risks lie for the Aussie to the downside. So if the Aussie was to break below 66.50, there is some trend line support there. I think that would probably be a sign that the downside move to the Aussie has been reignited. Thank you for listening.